Hi, I'm Ken German at HeartLight Partners. I'm a heartpreneur or heart-centered entrepreneur. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about how I met my wife, Lara. My wife, Lara, is from Russia. And it's a great romance and a great love story, and it continues to be a great story because she is the, my better half. And, and I, I can't ask for a better wife, a better partner, and just a better friend to share my life with. And the, the whole story started about... August, well, actually July of 2010, I had been divorced for about eight years and I had been dating and I discovered that I just kept on attracting the wrong kinds of women into my life and it's it took a little while to understand that the reason I was is I kept on asking for my soulmate. I said, I want to meet my soulmate. I want to meet my soulmate. And I, and I discovered that since I'm very intuitive that I follow my heart and I listen and as I was kept on asking for my soulmate and then I just kept on hearing in my head are you asking the right question are you asking the right question this was like towards the end of July and I said well, and I thought to myself well, what do you mean am I asking the right question I said I want to meet the I want to meet my soulmate I want to meet the woman who's going to be with me the rest of my life I'd already been through one divorce already and it was an amicable divorce but still it, it didn't it was painful it was it was just not something I wanted to go through again. So as I was thinking about it, so what is it that I really want? And then this, for about a week, the, the, the words changed the question popped into my head. So what is it that I really want? So well, I want to meet the love of my life. So after I thought, well, I may want to meet the love of my life, that's the question. I said, I want to meet the love of my life. I don't want my soulmate because I've learned from my own experience that soulmates are brought into our lives to teach us a lesson. And when you're done learning the lessons, you want to celebrate your life with someone. You don't want to keep on getting you know, beaten up with that celestial baseball mat saying, <coughs> hello, knock, 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 knock. You keep on repeating the same patterns in your life. You've got to break this karmic pattern. So when I asked for my... So I changed the question. I asked, you know, on a, on a piece of paper, I wrote down what I wanted. I said, well, I want to meet the love of my life. And I started dreaming about Russia. I'm like, what the heck? I said, I'm not going 7,000 miles away. But the message kept on repeating, and I started dreaming about Russia. And it's like, well, for about a week. So it was about August 9th of 2010. And finally, I said, fine. I said, if you're going to have me go to, all the way to Russia to meet the love of my life, then I got my own criteria. So I wrote down... Five foot five, you know, average average weight. Two children above the age of thirteen because I didn't. And I'm, I'm was forty three at the time. I didn't want to have children of my own because my vision of my future wasn't you know being you know sixty or sixty five years old having my children graduating from high school. And you know, and she needs to speak fluent English. She needs to have Skype. And if you could drop in a little bit of drop dead gorgeous, I'd be happy with that. Well, I had been internet. I had been dabbling in the international dating market. I had been on Elena's Models .com and several other sites, and had you know had some exposure and had you know and I was still a little reluctant, but I had still had reactivated my membership on Elena's Models. I was doing that 90 day stints every so often just to see what I could run into. Because I guess in my heart I knew that the right person wasn't for, wasn't in the United States for me. So I wrote down on a piece of paper that, that criteria, and then three days later. I got an email from a woman, and I've taken the piece of paper that I wrote, and I'm like, I'm looking at her photo, and I'm going, oh my god, this stuff works. I got exactly what I asked for, and after we got married, I discovered I got more than I bargained for. But getting married is getting a little too far. So, on August 12th of 2010, I got the first email from, my, my, from Larissa. She introduced herself, and I had put on my profile that I'm a Reiki master teacher. I'm actually a Reiki Shihan. I'm a Japanese trained Reiki teacher. And she said, well, I'm, I'm a Reiki 2 certified person, and I, I like what your profile said, and I want to get to know you. And, and she says, well, and I, and I responded back to her, well, do you have Skype? I said, well, yes, I do. And, and she, spoke fluent, she spoke English, so on August 13th, our first conversation was on Skype. And it was the first time I really have ever actively used Skype. But from August uh, from August 13th and up until October of 2011, we talked on Skype almost every day for about an hour. 
And it was just amazing how Skype just changes lives. It's like when you're footsteps away. So we talked back and forth, and then we decided to meet, and then we'll, we'll have some photos about that. But our first meeting in person was on October 8th of 2000, 2010 in the Dominican Republic. And we absolutely love the Dominican Republic. And then after that, we met, and, and, our, and there was a lot, of, a lot more to the story, and I'm not going to cover it all in this video. But if you're looking for the right person in your life, you have to be ready for that right person. And I guess at the time when I met, when I was uh, introduced to Lara, um, I was ready for that right person because I changed the question from being a soulmate to asking for the love of my life. And for the love of my life was somebody I wanted to celebrate my life with. And we got married exactly one year from the time that we met. Actually, it was a little bit more than that, but we actually, she came to the United States. She came, we met on October 8th of 2011 in the Dominican Republic, I'm sorry, 2010 in, in the, the Dominican Republic. And then she came to the United States exactly one year after we first met in the Dominican Republic. It was just, wow, it's so cool. So if you're looking for the love, if you're looking for the right person that you want to spend the rest of your life with, the way I did it and what worked for me is I asked for the love of my life and I stopped asking for my soulmate. I'm Ken Gurman at Heartlight Partners and this is my story.